Inventories, Part 5, LIFO. LIFO stands for Last In, First Out. LIFO assumes that the last units purchased are the first units sold. LIFO is how you calculate cost of goods sold. You, and you're going to pull from the most recently purchased units. Therefore, cost of goods sold will be valued at replacement value. This has the effect of leaving the oldest costs in ending inventory. So ending inventory will be the least current cost, the old cost. Bear in mind that LIFO costing method rarely coincides with the actual physical flow of goods. However, there are exceptions to this. Piles of wood, piles of hay, piles of coal, where drawing from the oldest would mean diving into the center and pulling out the oldest coal or wood or hay. That does not make sense. We're going to pull from the outside. So let's go back to our bike shop and do, an, and do the LIFO example. Same purchases, beginning inventory, same beginning inventory, same purchases, 400 at 125, 350, ending inventory is 250, and the question is, of these 1,000 units, 1,000 bikes, using LIFO costing method, what was the cost? So we have to add up to the thousand again, but note that I'm using the most recent cost first. This is in order of priority. June 25th is the most recent purchase, the highest cost in this case, because as you can see, these costs are rising. I'm going to use up this whole cost layer. I'm going to go back to the less recent cost of 125 a bike, but I still need another 250 to make up my thousand. Cost of goods sold for the thousand will add up to one hundred twenty thousand five hundred. Ending inventory of two fifty is coming out of this oldest cost layer at a unit cost of a hundred with an extended cost of twenty five thousand dollars even. Now let's go back to our bike shop. This whole scenario of the bike shop where you had a beginning inventory and two purchases is an example of rising prices. Prices started out at 100 for this beach cruiser at cost. Within a week the price went up to 125 and within a couple more weeks the price went up to 130. So this is a time of rising prices. We might also call this inflation. Note that beginning inventory is $50,000 and our purchases add up to $95,500, 50 plus 45,500 for a total cost of 145,500. Now I want to show these three methods, FIFO, average cost, and LIFO, side by side in an income statement. So what I did was I created an income statement. I used 240,000 for sales. I used 52,800 for operating expenses. And those numbers will not change regardless of your cost flow method. Your goods available does not change. That's based on historic cost. But with the different cost methods, and again, this is rising prices, with the different cost methods, you come out with completely different cost of goods sold. Note that when prices are going up, LIFO uses the most recent costs, so therefore, for cost of goods sold, so therefore cost of goods sold using LIFO is going to be the highest of the three methods. When prices are going up, FIFO uses has the lowest cost of goods sold because it's using the oldest costs, which are lower. And of course, average cost is going to be somewhere in between. Which cost method you choose, a company chooses, will affect net income, taxes, and ending inventory costs. So you might ask, which method is best? There is no best. There are just advantages and disadvantages to each. If you value a most accurate balance sheet, then FIFA will give you the most accurate balance sheet. And why is that? Because inventory is on the balance sheet. 
and inventory using the FIFO method will have the most recent, the most current cost. Because remember, first in, first out applies to cost of goods sold. So cost of goods sold is using the oldest cost. Therefore, ending inventory is using replacement cost. So the balance sheet has a, is representative of what it takes to replace that inventory. So a major disadvantage of LIFO is that the costs allocated to ending inventory are old costs, not current costs. And so they're kind of out of whack. They're, in times of inflation, they'll be understated. In times of deflation, when prices are going down, using LIFO, will, ending inventory will be overstated. But what about the income statement? LIFO method gives you the more accurate income statement. A major advantage of the LIFO method is the cost allocated to cost of goods sold will approximate current or recent costs. So cost of goods sold, as you see it on the income statement, will represent replacement cost. So therefore, LIFO is more accurate for the income statement. FIFO is more accurate for the balance sheet. And again, a disadvantage of FIFO is that costs allocated to cost of goods sold are not current. They're older costs. Understated in times of inflation, overstated in times of deflation. This ends Part 5 of Inventories. We'll start Part 6 and talk about the impact on the balance sheet.